Some unusual company while on the trails in Chino. Cows, they're running wild. Now, since the cattle don't seem to be afraid of humans, rangers are afraid that someone could get hurt by the wild bovines. NBC Force Kim Baldonado is live for us at the Parks Visitor Center in Brea. Kim, have you seen any of these cows? You know what, Chuck? I haven't. They're about four miles in, so we didn't make it that far today, but we talked to quite a few people who have seen them. Right now, park rangers are looking for a few good cowboys who can wrangle up these wild cows that are destroying the vegetation, tearing up the trails, and some fear may one day injure a park visitor. The Chino Hill State Park is teeming with wildlife. It's one of the reasons why Rob Moore likes to ride his mountain bike here. He's taken these photos of deer, a bobcat, and a coyote in the park, but he was not expecting to see these wild cows. And it came around a corner really fast, and there was two of them standing in the road, and it did this number and started running. Today, Moore says he saw several other wild cows about four miles into his trail ride, which is where others have spotted them. They were upsetting a lot of the folks that were in the park. Um, the bull especially was scaring. Uh, a lot of the riders, they're afraid they're going to get charged. It's a very tricky thing to deal with. Park Superintendent Kelly Elliott says people have posted sightings and photos on the park's Facebook page. Several say they've had close calls with a wild bull, including hiker Ed Lawrence, who we talked to by phone. Yeah, he was staring at me, staring me down, and he had that look in his eye that he wanted to get a piece of me. The land surrounding the 14,000-acre park is used for cattle grazing, and some knock down fences to get to greener pastures, but others were bred in the park and are wild. The ones that have never been handled by humans are a little more aggressive. With a limited budget to solve the problem, the park is now reaching out to cowboys who are willing to wrangle the wild cattle for free. And it took them an hour to wrangle this one bull. And, it, yeah, it was like going back in time or something. It was pretty, it was pretty incredible. It's an old-fashioned solution to a modern-day problem. One of our photographers, Edwin Calderon, is also a wrangler, and he's volunteered to come out here on Friday and help the cause. We'll keep you posted on his efforts. Reporting live from Chino Hill State Park, Ken Baldonado, NBC4 News.